Hi friends, in this lecture, we are actually going to talk about method references. We are going to look at the basics of method references, but we are also going to look at some of the confusing aspects of method references. So let's start with a question. On the screen, you will see the string colon colon index of method reference being assigned to a by function called func. Now the question is whether this is going to compile. If you take a look at the by function, and the index of, you will see that this is how the functional interface looks. There are four possible index of methods. The by function itself takes two parameters, those are two string parameters, and then outputs an integer. But the index of takes different kinds of parameters and returns an integer. But none of them seem to match. However, this code will compile. Let's take a look at another example. Here there's an actual string object, which is example of a string. And again, the index of, of that string object is being assigned to the func by function. Now this is not going to compile, and we will see why. In this lecture, we will dissect method references and see what is the difference between the two, and why one compiles and is valid, and the other one does not compile. But for now, let's look at the basics of lambda expression to start with. So here on the screen, we see an example of a list of cities. And what we need to do is to create a new list of cities which start with keyword new. So for that, I wrote a predicate which has a test method which returns true if the city starts with new. And then we use the predicate on the filter method and so the result of this code is that the new cities is nothing but New York and New Delhi, two cities which starts with new. However, you can see that it is pretty cumbersome to write this code. And so instead, we will use a lambda expression. And the lambda expression looks something like this, where you can pass the city parameter with an arrow and then a block of code. In other words, you can consider this as a block of code that you're passing to the filter method without giving a name to it. And this works just fine. However, we can actually improve this a little further. Because there's only one parameter and the block of code contains a single statement and it can be used as an expression, this can be further simplified as follows. We can simply use the city parameter without the braces and then without the return method on the right side. We can use the city dot starts with call without a return. So this is a nice way to express lambda expressions. However, can we improve this further? And here's where method references come in. So if you have a utility class and then you write a method called starts with new, which takes a string and then returns true if it starts with new, we can use this starts with new method directly in the filter method as you can see on the screen. So here we are using a method reference utility colon colon starts with new in place of the lambda expression. Starts with new is a static method inside the utility. So that is one type of method reference. And for this type of method reference, which is containing class colon colon static method name, this is how the method reference would be translated to the lambda expression. The methods of the start with new method becomes the parameters of the lambda expression, in this case, city. And then the actual method starts with new will be called within the lambda expression and the value return. So this is easy to understand, mainly because the parameters of the resulting lambda and the parameters of the start with new method is exactly one to one. So this is intuitive. Now let's go to a second type of method reference, and we call this the containing object colon colon instance method name. So in this case, the starts with new method is not a static method inside the utility class. It's an instance method. So in which case you will have to actually create an instance of the utility 
class, you have to create a utility object. In the example, you see a utility object being created. And so the starts with new is called on the instance in the filter. So this is also pretty intuitive. So instance colon colon starts with new, get translated to the method reference, almost similar as before. And again, this is intuitive because the parameter of the lambda and the parameters of the starts with new method is exactly one to one. Now let's go to the third type of method reference and we call this class name colon colon new. If we change the use case a bit, let's convert this list of cities into list of city objects. And we have a city class on the right side. We can do that by simply calling the constructor of the city within the map method. And so in this case, so what it'll give here is a list of city objects, one for each city. But there's a better way to do this. We can use the method reference as follows. We can simply use city colon colon new. So note that here you are considering new almost like a static method within the city class. And how does this translate to method reference? City colon colon new method reference get translated to very similar as before, where the name is passed as a parameter and then the new city constructor is called within the Lambda. So the parameters here are gonna be the same as whatever parameters the city constructor is using. But now we look at the fourth type of method reference and that's the most confusing. We call this the containing type colon colon method name. So let's take an example here. We are gonna convert the cities to a list of cities, all uppercase. And the way we are gonna do it is that inside the map method, we are gonna simply call the two uppercase method of the string, which is the name. And that's how we are gonna get the list of uppercase cities. Can we convert this into a method reference? Well, the answer is yes. This gets converted into string colon colon to uppercase. And now here's where the confusion is. At first glance, the two uppercase method looks very much like a static method inside the string class, whereas it is not. Two uppercase is an instance method within the string class. And so if you look at the resulting lambda, the resulting lambda will take the string as a parameter. Two uppercase is called on that same string without any parameters. And that's where the mismatch is. The lambda is taking a string parameter, but the two uppercase in string class does not take a string parameter. It does not in fact take any parameter. Now note here that the two uppercase does not get translated as follows over here. That's because two uppercase is not a static method in the string class. If two uppercase had been a static method in the string class, which takes a string, then the second translation would have been valid. The first translation would be invalid. Now, knowing all of this, let's revisit the first question that we asked. Is this valid or not? We know that it is valid. Now let's analyze why this is valid. So here's the statement. On the left-hand side, the by function gets translated to two string parameters as input, which returns an integer. The right hand side are four different methods. One of them might be valid, who knows? So I've broken them up into four different lambda expressions, which are equivalent to the four different overloaded methods of index of. And because index of is an instance method in string, that means we will be passing the string as parameter in there, and then the index of method is called on that parameter. And so you will see how the parameters are mismatched between the lambda and the method index of, and it's off by one. And then you will see which one of the four actually matches one on the left side. You can see that the third one takes in 
two string parameters and returns an integer. That is a complete match. And because it's a match, it means that this assignment is valid. And if this is valid, we should be able to go and do this. We should be able to call the apply on the function, and it's basically going to call the index off of the string. It will output 8. Index off basically gives us the index of the substring on that string. So substring here being New York and the actual string being this is New York. Now let's try to do the same thing for the second example where we have a string str as example of a string. str colon colon index of is being assigned to the by function. So again, the left hand side is the lambda which takes in two parameters and returns an integer. On the right hand side, four possible lambda expressions for four possible overloaded index of methods. And this time you can see that the string is not a parameter in any one of these four because the index of is being called on str, which is not a variable. So there is nothing on the right side which is matching the lambda on the left side. And so there is no match. And because there is no match, the compiler will consider this as a failure and it will give a compiler. So let me know if you enjoyed this talk. If you like this, please give a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are interested in innovative content.